did you were you kind of when, when one guy got there in this battle, him and Shane and Wilton in the battle during the preseason to try to become the starter. When the guys didn't get it, you know, were you kind of watching to see kind of how they handled that too? Yeah, you know? I think we all we all were. They all handled it really well, and uh, as you can see, you know, it, that's just the nature of the beast. That's uh, it's going to happen, and I mean, everyone handled the situation with class and you know with respect. Chris said that even after that battle, that John was watching more film than almost anybody. Is, is that something you saw out of him? Yeah, he's, he's a hard worker, for sure. He's, uh, he's always in the film rooms, and uh, he's always you know, working on his craft. Did you ever ask him why he was dedicating so much time to film when he, given circumstances, he's getting more time now, but it was looking like he wasn't? Well, I think it just kind of goes back to the, him being a perfectionist, okay. that kind of thing. I mean, that's what, you know, someone with that attitude, that's what they do. They just work and uh, work until it's up to, the, up to their level of satisfaction. What was that like on Saturday at Iowa? I mean, in the middle of a field storm, <laughs> pretty scary, I would imagine. Um, I don't know if I would say scary, but it was a little, I mean, it wasn't the greatest feeling I've ever had. I would say that. Uh, I kind of just walked out the field quickly to, you know, to avoid as many people as I could. But it was just, I mean, it, it sucks to lose. It's never good to lose. And especially when you've, you know, you've won all your games this season other than that. But we know, we're not harping on that. We're not, uh, you know, we're not letting that stick in our mind. We're just... Uh, like I said earlier, we're just approaching this next week with a fresh slate, and we're saying this needs to be our best week of practice. We need to bounce back. And we need to come back stronger. You guys have been in, after Iowa, now four of those in the last two years where the game was decided in the last play. Um, what, what's it like, I guess, after ha having you know, playing for 59 minutes and having it all come down to that? Or, like, it's preparing for all week, and I think. Right. Like yeah. I mean, it depends on what side you end up on. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, if you end up on the side that we were on last week, it's disappointing and it's frustrating. But that's football, and it's going to happen. And you know that's what we sign up for. We sign up for, and we come to Michigan to play in games like that and to win games like that. And last weekend it didn't go our way, but we learned from it. And I think we're, you know, we're better because because of that situation. Obviously, we would love to win the game. But we take out of it what we can take out of it, and we keep moving on. When you when you're wait, watching that play, whether it's Saturday or la any of the times last year, what's what's going through your mind? Are you first of all, are you watching or? or yeah. What, what, what are you thinking? You're talking about on Saturday while watching it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and okay. also, I mean, it, it guys never, not there to watch. Some some people are like that. I I, I watch it. I I like to watch it, but uh, you know, and it always it never really comes down to just one play at the end. You know, there's always things we could have done earlier in the game and uh, to not even let it get to that point. But it is it is frustrating to see that. But, I mean, we're fine. It seems like so many guys on the offense made made different mistakes throughout the game. It wasn't just one guy who's struggling or, or whatever. Do, do you think there was – is that a focus thing? Is that a crowd thing? What do you attribute that to? No, I don't. I don't think that we're an unfocused group at all. Uh, I, I don't know what to attribute it to, uh, attribute it to but we uh, we had some opportunities and we didn't seize them, and that's just what it is. And what does Coach Trevno say, like when he meets with you guys? You know, I guess the first meeting when you're back here, and was it was it trying to look back and, and identify those, or just throw it in the garbage yeah, and start over? We definitely identify it and we learn from it, and we'll go through a situation and say. Okay, so this happened. Here's how you fix it. Next time, we're gonna fix it. That was kind of an aberration, though. You guys have been so good for nine games. You right. Know? I mean, did, did, it felt weird as you were going through it, right? Yeah, it felt. I mean, it did feel a little weird just because we've been doing so well. But I guess uh, you know it can happen. Like like I said before, that's part of the game. But uh, we just came back. Uh, came back. Sunday morning, and you know, took Sunday, and I guess, however, different guys, some guys maybe watch the film right away. I watch it right away. But some guys maybe wait till Monday. Everyone's got their way of dealing with it, but we just come back, make the corrections, and do what we got to do.